1066 Black Stripe. Making a 75 or 6 model when it started life. It would have had a 414 cubic against turbocharged 6 cylinder. I've got a sneaking suspicion it's a little bigger than that now. It sounds good. Let's see how it works for Darren Carey of Frostburg, Maryland. The first of eight for points, this is Mike Moreland of Lothian, Maryland with the 1466 called Digging Deep. tractors in this 10-5 hot farm class. Paul Richardson, and it's called Venomous. Diesel truck class, lots of Cummins engines, 
in that class that'll sound just like this one. Green is on the way for buzzard bait from Bonnesville, Maryland. Finished fifth in points last year. Second in current points. One in Greensboro, Maryland to get the season started. One in Schoolkill, Pennsylvania. And second last time at the Buck. Let's see how he does here tonight. John Deere fans, you're going to sit back and enjoy this thing called Back in Heat, last year's points champion, Ray Norris, the Maryland man. tractor that pulled a while ago. Let's see how it goes here tonight for Jeff King, our current points leader. Those people up there got long house sitting in the backyard watching the cooler in hot cotton, aren't they? They got a ringside seat. This class is making eight or nine hundred horsepower. 
putting on a nice show for us. Here comes the final one. Jeff Turner of Massey, Maryland with the Frustrated Farmer. Here comes Chris Mast and Skeeter Control. New Ford fans, there's two up in this class. This is the 96 model, it's called Chapter 11. Super B Cummins motor in it, and it is tough. Bad timing. He left it parked for quite a while this year. This is only its seventh time out, but it is tough. This is Andrew Grove with bad timing.
opportunity to walk up to many of them like this one. They look just as good up close as they do from 50 or 100 feet away. These things are beauty queens. You want to see this truck under the hood. It is absolutely gorgeous. This truck's only been to about seven hooks this year, but believe it or not, out of seven hooks, it got two wins and four seconds. It's coming to ranch hand. Pro Stock John Deere, called One More Deer. Pro Stock means it's right up there, I'm sure, at the cube limit of 680 cubic inches. It's got a turbo about big enough to roll a cantaloupe in. Two full mod back tires. And about 3,000 horsepower. Good way to get this Super Pro class started. 80 more. here shortly and make close 3,000 horsepower but the, what, what I have trouble getting my head wrapped around is the turbochargers in this class are going to spin over 100,000 RPM. This is Terra Moore with more agitation. in the class, Ed Ammons of Clear Spring, Maryland. Yeah, it is stalling out. 
not what he had in mind. In his helmet off. How about a tough luck round of applause for Ed Ammons fans? I know I'd appreciate it, and I'm sure he would too. Way up there. Let's see if this one bulbs down a little bit as it gets a little traction. That's what they're looking for. Load that engine a little bit. traction, but they're all going on the same track, experience is going to help. Watch how high the front end comes and how well these tractors go in the first 50 feet, and you'll see how well they do at the far end. This is Brandy Martin of Chambersburg on the Dairy Deer. Just over there in the dirt a little bit. Thank goodness for that dirt berm. Looks she's all right. Yeah, helmet's off. How about a nice hand for her? I'm glad everything's safe and working out okay. That thing was getting pulling on that chain tractor. Most of them in the class are, where it's got a tube chassis, a custom tranny, and a planetary rear. And that should give him between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds of movable weight. He's only got about 400 pounds hanging out back. So he's got a boat load between the back wheels. Let's see if those tires buckle and he gets a bite on here to go out where his dad went at 323.8. Josh Martin of Chambersburg with Big Green.
So they took it to a local welding shop up in Santa Hall last Saturday. He welded up the intercooler, and Robert came back and finished fourth. So he's remaining on top of the power. He's got a 26-point lead on the six-shooter New Hall. Our current points leader, Robert Martin with John Deere Green. in there, electric over hydraulic that'll squirt water into the turbocharger. It sucks it back through the turbo and sprays it in on top of the pistons, keep it from melting. Now you're going to see a fire coming out that pipe for about two seconds, and then there's a boost gauge going to turn on that water injection, and it's going to spray water right into the front of the turbo, and that fire is going to go away. Watch.
used to work at Stuffy, you see, mom gas and clean the windshield, shut the oil. Watch this thing go, folks. Steve Wilson with Prince Schroeder, Carolyn with the running bird. Get ready for two green flags. There they are. For Trent Best of Chambersburg with Best Bet. None of them RPM is going to back up and have another shot at it.
second place last weekend in the center hall offensive end. Poetry is going to sound like a hurdle. up this modified class. 